work to stop the Jake fire from spreading any further. Hi everyone, welcome to Canyons News. I'm Veronica Secchi. With self-quarantine still in effect, people are seeing more and more animals in unusual places. This begs the question, are there more animals out or are there just more people staying in? Here's what I found. Animal sightings in the city of Santa Clarita have been on the rise recently among residents of the city. We had a bobcat sighting about a week ago. Santa Clarita local Daniel Zovac is one of those many residents who noticed unusual animal activity on her property. Walking further back and um, eventually made its way between these two bushes and going further and further up back. Although this recent activity could be fairly normal according to the animal control officials from the County of Los Angeles Castaic Animal Center. Officials attribute the sightings to a combination of people being home more due to the quarantine and the general time of year stating, this is the season a lot of wildlife comes out. For Canyons News, I'm Veronica Secchi. With COVID-19 keeping families stuck inside, Canyons News reporter Jesse Abarquez explores how parents are keeping their children entertained and staying sane. Fresh air hits differently these days. And so does everything else, though local resident Brianna De La Torre is fighting through the changes to make sure her family feels that life is as normal as possible. Now it's like schoolwork, all this paperwork, oh, make sure you turn in this. And then they'll be like, oh, but don't be, be frustrated because we're not asking you to be a teacher. And then three minutes later, but don't forget to turn in all the work by Friday and da 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 da. <laughs> But the battle doesn't stop there. She's also had to find the balance between Netflix and outdoor activities amid social distancing. We'll go for drives. Like, I feel like that's my, my favorite thing to do right now during this quarantine time is like, we like to go on drives. Um, we'll go up to the lake, drive through the mountains. Um, we've made it like our new goal now. So every time we're just gonna get a pit stop further. We try to make the best of it. It's hard at home. I miss the regular days. With Canyons News, I'm Jesse Abarquez. Due to COVID-19, it seems like anything and everything sports related has been canceled. Canyons News reporter Sarah Perez takes a look at how a local high school athlete is affected by these changes. Nathan Perez, a sophomore sensation, ranked 35 in the state, has made a huge impact for his team, being the first Saugus basketball player to make first team all Foothill League his first two seasons. Nathan explains what he would be doing differently right now if he was able to get in the gym. I would be in the gym working out, getting shots up, and then playing like five on five open runs with my travel team or anywhere and I'd be traveling across the country with my team right now. Despite not being able to get shots up or travel with his team, he's focused on what he can do now to improve his game. But with no access to a gym, he's had to adjust his training. I've been working out two, three times every day, just trying to strengthen my body and become as fast as I can be with the, what I have. I miss the boys, man. And going back in the gym. I love the gym and hanging with the family. Despite the changes he's had to go through, Nathan stays on top of his game by challenging himself daily and using his resources to the best of his ability. With Canyons News, I'm Sarah Perez. Thanks for tuning in. For more news, visit our website at canyonsnews.com. For Canyons News, I'm Veronica Secchi.